Yo, how are you doing today, guys? I'm back with another one of these, yeah. Because, I mean, as of recording this, the Kane one hasn't actually been made public yet. But I noticed they do relatively well. And, uh, my John Cena one is actually the most viewed video on my entire channel. The Brock Lesnar one is, like, top five as well. So, why the fuck would I not do another one? Of the Dead Man Undertaker. It was a bit of a pain in the arse trying to get a couple. Um, I had to search everywhere to get a couple of these. But I managed to do it nonetheless. And uh, yeah. I'm not going to go through and explain what they all are. Because you can clearly fucking see what they are. You got a mix of like normal take up. American Badass, and then a couple other versions. But nonetheless, let's just get straight into this video. So yeah, I'll see you lot in the video, boss. Here we go. The entrances are going to take a while, so you will get a time at the bottom of the screen, as always, as to when the match will actually start. So if you don't want to watch these entrances, and I do not blame you one single bit, just... Go to the bottom of the screen right now, see what that time is, and just fast forward in the video. Do yourself a favour, honestly, because unlike me, you guys don't need to watch these entrances. I'm only watching them purely in case there's people that do want to watch them. And I need to watch eight of these, so wish me luck. Wish me luck. You could say daring to confront the phenom is like digging your own grave. The Undertaker will drag you through the depths of despair. When you see the Undertaker, you're witnessing one of the most I can't lie. spectacles in these videos genuinely do extremely well for my channel as i've as i said in the intro i'm not sure how the cane one is gonna do because i am yet to put that public as of recording this video but the john cena one is the most viewed video on my channel has like over 900 views which is crazy for my channel for a video to get 900 plus views is absolutely insane and the Brock Lesnar one is like top 5, that one has like, I don't know, like 200 or something? Uh, I think it's close to 300, around 280 mark. But yeah, they do very well for my channel. The ones where I put the same superstar against different versions of themselves. So why not do The Undertaker? He's had a lot of different versions. You know what I mean? Take this as a little, uh, a late send-off to um, Undertaker's retirement. And there will be more of these coming if you lot do enjoy the videos where I put superstars against different versions of themselves. If you lot like them, if you lot like these videos, drop a like or let me know in the comments or whatever. And I will continue to make them because they do very well for me. Oh, thank God this one's a bit quicker. The is here. To be fair, this is the only relatively quick entrance. Death Valley, and judgment day. Said they always finish last. You want to learn about longevity, what it takes to remain a 
superstar, top tier level, your entire career here. Well, look at this man, The Undertaker. Changing with the times, but just as dominant as ever. Here we go. Unpopular opinion, possibly. I think this theme song is better than his normal one. It has more of a like drum like beat to it behind. The Ministry of Darkness theme. Taker performs sacrifices, burials, even set opponents on fire. Yeah, anyone in the ring or even around it should be very, very careful tonight. We've already done his brother in law in kayfabe. His brother in law? I don't know if his brother in law or what, but in kayfabe, it's basically Undertaker's brother, Kane. So why not do the dead man himself? We know about the Undertaker's frightening power and his agility. But now he yes, we feel Undertaker is actually freakishly agile for someone of his size. Now we're getting to the custom this ones. Is be good. And I have not yet to see what these look like, so they could be horrible models, and but we have to deal with it. Weighing in at 299 pounds. The definition of insanity is doing this. Now apparently this one doesn't have a name. Alright. I might have actually seen this one. I'm not sure. Well, the good news is, once this entrance has actually finished, we are halfway through. Let's go. At this rate, I feel like the fucking entrances are going to be longer than the match. I'm not even going to lie. Not too sure why WWE does really well for my channel, but definitely does the best out of all of the content I make. Although, to be fair, my most recent live stream, apart from a Fortnite one that I did earlier today as of recording this video, uh, my most recent one, aside from that one, was a Spider-Man 2 playthrough, it was part 3, and that is actually my most viewed stream, by a long shot, and I mean a lot, if you compare it to the rest of my streams, also my new record as well, of longest. Oh, we're halfway through. Let's go. And from Death Valley, weighing in at 328 pounds, the 
The Undead Tank, yes. Great one. Yeah, we've seen normal Undertaker so far. We've seen the American Badass under Undertaker. We've seen the Ministry of Darkness Undertaker. We saw like the Masked Mast Undertaker. And now we're seeing Mohawk Undertaker. The one that, uh, yeah, the one that um, lost his WrestleMania streak. Yeah. To Brock Lesnar. And look what's happening with Brock Lesnar nowadays. So, uh, looking back on it, uh, not the fondest memory of mine. The worst part is, back then, oh, I don't know how old I was, I must have been about 10 or so, and that, that WrestleMania, WrestleMania 30, that was the first WrestleMania that I actually got to watch live. I remember watching it with my dad. Oh my god, when he lost, we both jumped out of our seat, bro. The first WrestleMania I ever got to watch was Undertaker losing his fucking WrestleMania streak. The first one I got to watch live, bro. Come on. Oh, he hasn't even taken his hat off. And he just put nothing outside. Oh, yep. Yep. We'll pretend he took it off, guys. Oh god, here we go, the sixth one now. Only three more, only three more. And from Death Valley, weighing in at 305 pounds, the Superstar! Not since John Cena have we seen a superstar as resilient and perseverant as this one right here. I could not agree more. Give me a break. Cena may never give up, but you two never give up when it comes to hyperbole. Ah, oh, these entrances are killing me, man. But yeah, this is, uh, I think it was like 2004 or something. When he just randomly cut his hair. This was when he, uh... Well, no, he didn't cut his hair. At this point, his hair was growing back. Because he cut his hair when he was doing the American Badass gimmick. And this was when he just uh, switched back to being the dead man after having a couple years as the American Badass. And uh, his hair was starting to grow back here, so it's a bit shorter.
come on. Jesus. Oh, he doesn't even have a fucking... Oh, he just straight up has no attire. Like, no coat, no hat. He just straight up walking out. Bro left his bag at home. Yeah, this is like 2010 Undertaker. This is when he started to, um... He started to wear, like, an all-in-one. I'm pretty sure this was, like... The first time he wore it, unless he did it like in the early 2000s, like I'm not sure. Oh, but to my knowledge, this is just what I think of when I think of like 2010s Undertaker, like when he had the world title, that sort of era of Undertaker. I think this will be the last one. Also, if you hear squeaking, it's my annoying fucking chair. It decided to crack, alright? It's literally split in half. So, I do apologise for that. Oh, yes, the superstar. You've got to love the superstar. Oh, God. Oh, well, at least on the last one. Also, this is like, I'm pretty sure this is like the original Undertaker when he was first Undertaker. He went from this one into having the mask, I'm pretty sure. I think this one came first. I could be wrong. Obviously, I didn't grow up in that era. Otherwise, I'd be like 206 years old. But, yeah... Oh, thank God, we're basically done. Jesus.
Oh, let's be real. No one wants the same take off his jacket again. Let's go. Oh, God. Right. The actual action begins now. Jesus. Whole lot of black gear I see in this ring. My prediction. You already know we're doing a prediction. My prediction to win this. I am gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Ministry of Darkness Undertaker. That's my prediction, which is Undertaker 98, I'm pretty sure. That's my prediction to win. Ministry of Darkness Taker. My favourite Undertaker outfit has got to be like the the one where he just wore like an all-in-one, like the 2010 one and the uh, the bald bald Undertaker. Like that sort of outfit. When he wore it all in one and he had the, like the the logos on the side. When you, when you speak about Undertaker's prime, it's genuinely so hard to choose one error. Like you obviously you can narrow out a couple of them, so you can narrow it down to like. Maybe like three or four. Like it could, it could be like, I wouldn't say his early, early days, but it could be like the 2010s, like early 2010s. I'm not talking 2018. Trust me. Oh, Mars Undertaker might be eliminated. One, two, no, I kick out. But anyway, it could be like early 2010s. Right. Well, when I say that, I mean like from. 2000 like seven till like 2000 like 11 sort of that sort of era it could be like that it could be like american badass undertaker it could have been ministry of darkness undertaker there's so many like different eras of Undertaker. this guy was around for like i swear he was around for literally like 30 decades Wait, no, not 30 decades, three decades. Oh, Masked Undertaker has completely reversed it on him and he's hitting with his own tombstone. One, two, and a kick out from Older Taker. One, and another kick out. Oh, bro, just fucking Russian leg sweep his ass onto a chair. Oh, no. Oh no, Older Taker just took another tombstone. This time from Ministry. One, two. Oh, he kicked out though. Not fair enough to him. Fair enough to him. He's managing to kick out. He's kicked out of two of them so far. Then again, we are speaking about the Undertaker here. This man went 21 years at WrestleMania undefeated. 21 years, bro. That's ridiculous if you actually think about it. This man didn't lose at WrestleMania for 21 consecutive years. And if we're erasing, erasing Brock Lesnar from history, he technically... Lost it at like 23 and 3 or something like that. Oh, a choke slam to ministry. One, two, and a kick out. But yeah, we're raising Brock Lesnar. He was 21 and 0 going into that match. He obviously lost. But if, like I said, if we're raising that, he then went on to beat Bray Wyatt and Shane McMahon, making him 23. Oh. Another kick up from Ministry. God damn. 
So yeah, he was essentially 23 and 0 if you erase Brock Lesnar from history. So basically Roman Reigns broke his streak at WrestleMania 33. I can't lie, something's telling me Ministry of Darkness Undertaker and um, Older Taker, which is just regular Undertaker in this match. Something telling something is telling me that none of them are winning. They've ate like three finishes each already. They are still kicking, but barely. A last ride and a tombstone at the exact same time. Oh, Bull Taker kicks out. And the other one didn't even get a pin. Oh my god, Older Taker. Older Taker is dead. He's gone. He's actually out. There is no way he's kicking. What the f bro? Oh, Masked Undertaker has been eliminated. Our first elimination is Masked Undertaker. He ain't going out to a bear hug, bro. How has Ministry Taker and Older Taker kicked out of like fucking three tombstones on a choke slam like each? But yep, can Masked Undertaker takes one and it's over. Oh no. Oh my god. I would not have pinned that one if I was you. Two. I take it back. Go for it. Pin him, boss. Pin him. If he gets two back to back, I swear. Bro, Older Taker is no joke, bro. Old Undertaker is absolutely no joke. The guy is like 47 and a half decades years old. But... It's okay, because he kicks out of everything under the sun. But we've had two eliminations. 2010 Undertaker and Masked Undertaker. The weapons are out. The chairs, tables, steel steps. Why the hell is he standing out the ring? I don't know. They're both just standing outside for some reason. I won't question it. Oh, Ministry Taker takes another tombstone. Surely. Two. And Ministry Undertaker is out. That's my prediction. Gone already. One, two, oh, he kicks out though. Why are they all just standing outside? I'm getting a bit scared here. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit fucking scary. Like, you just, they're not in, even in the match, but they're just, it's like a fucking lumberjack match. Oh. He lost the streak, will he lose this match? Two, not yet. Not yet. Ball taker kicks. And I believe that is a last ride coming. If if this Undertaker kicks out of this fucking last ride. Never mind. We don't get to see. I was going to say, if he kicked out of that, he's built different, bro. American Badass Undertaker may be eliminated. One. Two. Nope, and he kicks. Undertaker 04 is low-key absolutely destroying this match. Look at his health. He has three finishes and a signature. And if you lot aren't too familiar with which one that is, that's Undertaker who has medium hair, if that's easy to describe. There we go. Older Taker was bound to be eliminated at some point. 
out of the four left, the one with the grey on his boots, that's Undertaker uh, 1990. American Badass is the one with the bandana. The like baldish one with the mohawk is um, 2014. And then the other one with like medium length hair like up to his neck. That one is um, 2004. The one that just threw him into the barricade. <laughs> Bro's like, nah, I'm showing off, not you. Oh no, he's gone for See, look what, what the hell is going on outside the ring, man. They're just standing there, staring. And they're not even staring at the right thing, either. Alright. I know my prediction's already eliminated. So this isn't going to count, but out of these remaining four, my prediction to win has to be Undertaker 2004. He's absolutely bossing this match right now. He's showing why it was the best idea ever to go back to Deadman instead of American Badass, because he's absolutely smashing this match right now. To be fair, I'm surprised uh, Mohawk Undertaker survived this long though. Being as he's the one that lost the fucking WrestleMania streak. If he ends up winning, that is utter BS. I'm not gonna lie. Because if he lost the streak, but literally every other version of Undertaker here has actually won a match at WrestleMania. Then that is pretty crazy. I think except Older Taker. Older Taker lost to um, Roman Reigns, but he's eliminated, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Yeah, let me know in the comments which Undertaker you predicted to win this match. I love the way when I do these matches of like putting a superstar against different versions of themselves. They always end up having a massive scrap outside the ring. I don't know why. There's like, every single time, there's, they're all just out the ring, just scrapping in this exact corner, I swear. But seriously though, I mean, he's obviously lost a bit of health now, but look at 2004 Undertaker health compared to all the rest. He has quite a lot more. And before, he had full green on top of that. While they were all battered. Oh, they're scrapping in the ring. <gasps> he went for it, but he got it first. Undertaker 90 may be eliminated here. Two. No! He used resiliency kick. Oh, but he's going for another one now. If he gets this one, then it's over because he's already used resiliency. And it's over. Rest in peace for Undertaker 1990. He's out. Oh, I think he went for a last ride. And he went for another one there. Just didn't quite get it though. Uh-oh, Tombstone incoming, American Badass may be saying bye-bye. Nope. I think uh, 2014 Undertaker was getting a bit jealous. Oh, oh, last ride. 
Oh god, last ride. One, two. Nah, he kicks out. Oh, now he's about to eat one. Now he's about to eat a last ride. Last ride. He's got to be out. He lost the streak and he's lost the match. Yeah, he's out. It comes down to American Badass Undertaker, who then transitioned into 2004 Undertaker. He went from American Badass back to Dead Man and let his hair grow out a bit. And you can literally see, if you look at their health bars, American Badass is 2003. And 2004 is after he went back to Dead Man. So now we're about to find out if that was a good choice or not. Maybe he should have stuck with American Badass. No reversal! Uh-oh. Tombstone. He nailed it. It's over. It's over. It's over. One. Two. And he got it. He got it. What did I tell you? This Undertaker was destroying the whole match, bro. This Undertaker was absolutely demolishing the whole fucking match. Looks like it was a good decision to go back to the dead man. Look at that. You know what? Fair play Undertaker. Fair play. Fair fucking play, man. Now, I'm slightly concerned that the, uh, the entrances were actually longer than the match itself. So I'm hoping that's not true. But, regardless, if you like this video, please leave a like and a subscribe. That would mean a lot to me, as I am trying to make this my full-time career on YouTube. And uh, these videos tend to do the best for me, so I'm just hoping with my whole heart that this video does just as well. So, thank you for watching, and uh, enjoy the next one, I guess.